Mexico is one of only 17 countries which is considered mega-diverse. But what does this mean? Its land surface represents 10% of the Earth's total, and it houses 10% of the world's biodiversity. Here we can find more than 200,000 species, with 2,500 of them legally protected. Despite this fact, some are still in threat of extinction, which we share in this new Animal Wise video. Ocelot. Just under 2 million individuals of this species remain. Although the population is greater than that of other endangered species, there is a reduction in the population due to trafficking of their pelts, as well as continued destruction of the ecosystems in which they live. American Black Bear. The black bear is another of the most recently endangered Mexican animals. Illegal hunting and habitat destruction are the main causes. In addition to Mexico, the black bear is found in Canada and Alaska, being the most common bear in North America. It's estimated there are currently between 500,000 and 750,000 bears left. Cozumel Raccoon Also known as the Pygmy Raccoon, it is considered to be critically endangered internationally, not only in Mexico. This is due to its tiny area of distribution, which has led it, in a very short time, to suffer insular dwarfism. This is an evolutionary process affecting species that live in closed environments, adapting to the scarcity of resources as a means to survive. Bolson turtle. This turtle is native to Mexico, specifically in Chihuahua, Coahuila, and Durango. The reasons it is in critical danger of extinction is due to climate change, seismic activity, and being hunted for their meat. Today, it's estimated there are only about 2,500 of the Bolson turtle remaining in Mexico. Quetzal. Although not a species which lives exclusively in Mexico, the Mexican Quetzal is the most threatened of all. It is in danger of extinction for various reasons, mainly due to deforestation and climate change. Additionally, there have been cases of illegal quetzal poaching in Mexico, although this has decreased significantly today. They also live in Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and West Panama. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with everything about both domestic and wild animals. Mexican axolotl. It's possible to find these animals in the canals of Xochimilco, but fewer and fewer exist in the world, most living in aquariums. One of the most striking things about the axolotl, next to its alien-like appearance, is the fact they are capable of regenerating their own cellular tissue. Both the contamination of its natural habitat and their use for medicinal purposes seem to have this small amphibian's days numbered. Scarlet macaw. A type of brightly coloured macaw, they are predominantly red-bodied with blue, green and yellow on the wings. The illegal sale of birds has reduced the species, causing only about 30,000 specimens remaining in the wild. In Mexico, they can now only be found in Chiapas. This macaw has been associated with the Mayan deity Vukub Kakwix, but cultural importance has not stopped those seeking to profit from illegally trading this exotic animal. Mexican Grey Wolf it's estimated that less than 300 specimens of this species survive. Their size, smaller than that of any wolf, can be compared to that of a medium dog. They lived in Mexico and in certain areas of North America, but currently only exist in captivity. Their greatest threat have been humans, mainly due to farmers in their native lands practically exterminating the species. Vaquita, also known as Cochito, it is a cetacean that only inhabits Mexican waters. It is estimated there are less than 100 specimens of this species left. Their main threat is the negligence of the fishing industry, as it usually dies trapped in fishing nets. It receives its name because both the eyes and the mouth are surrounded by black spots. It is a quiet species that communicates with its relatives through sound waves. West Indian Manatee It's thought that less than 2,000 individuals survive, hunted for meat since the colonization of the Americas. This was after the Spanish discovered it was not a mermaid, which they had originally believed. They are also threatened by the destruction of their habitat and the negligence of fishermen, often dying because they collide with the engines of ships and boats. Not only do they exist around Mexico, but their distribution extends to Brazil, where they can be found in parts of the Amazon River. 
do you know other animals from Mexico in danger of extinction? Leave us your comments and don't miss the above video in which we explain the effect climate change is having on animals. We'll see you next time. Thank you.